speedrun for PS3. Um, we are covering the second segment of this uh, run, the Graveyard to the Stone Pillar exit, which I like to call the Nightmare segment. It covers five different areas, the Graveyard, the Dark Room, the Windmill, the Sewer, and the Stone Pillar. And because of the nature of the puzzles in this area, um, you have to double back into two different rooms. That means within these five rooms, there's actually six potential shadow fights. And these fights, especially in the uh, graveyard, in the dark room, can um, easily destroy a run. Like, you can just flat out die. And in fact, this is my third time to try and make this tutorial because I've died. <laughs> just trying to show you how to do it. It's a little, I can make the excuse that it's a little harder trying to explain it while I do it. But the, the fact of the matter is, um, it's just really hard. So, without further ado, maybe the, uh, maybe the third time's a charm. So we'll start with the graveyard, which is actually the, the hardest of the areas to, to successfully navigate. Alright, so we're going to take Yorda, and assuming she behaves, although many times she does not, Leave her right here on the corner of those steps. Don't let her touch the floor, because that will spawn some shadows. And we're going to delay that as long as possible. Now, the, uh, the deal with this graveyard, it's very symmetrical. You'll notice there's a, um, a pressure plate over on this side. I'm pushing this block to a pressure plate on the other side. Both pressure plates have to be pressed in order for this door right here to open. But the other block is up there on the stairs, which means we have to get Yorda to stand on this pressure plate so we can go through the door, push down the other block. Now here's where things get hairy. We are going to try and skip this shadow fight, which means we're going to call Yorda, try and get her to stand on this pressure plate um, by letting go of her as her feet are about right there as we're dragging her across the floor. And... Um, her momentum will carry her onto the plate, will run and stand by the door, quit a cutscene, and then go right through the door, skipping five shadows we have to fight. Unfortunately, once we push this block down, that also spawns more shadows, and we'll have both groups of shadows spawned at the same time as we try and push this block over here to where Yorda was standing, and keep Yorda from getting grabbed and taken all the way up to the top of those stairs. Sometimes we can make it up to this block without Yorda getting grabbed. Other times, she gets grabbed while we're inside. And when that happens, um, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's see what situation we actually face. The, uh, the, so there's three, three things that will happen. One is we'll fail at getting her to stop on this block, and there will be five shadows that show up. And I say just kill those five shadows. It will make the rest of this much easier. Or um, we'll get her to stand on there successfully, She'll get grabbed while we're inside this room trying to make our way up to the top. Or, she won't get grabbed, we'll be able to push this block down, and we'll try our hardest to keep Yorda from getting taken up here while we, while we protect her and push the block over to this side. And then try and get Yorda through the door without killing what will then be nine shadows. Let's, uh, let's see how we do. I hope that was clear. Let go. Perfect. Skip the cutscene. Go through the door. If your order does get grabbed, it will be as we're making our way to or up the ladder. Alright, she didn't get grabbed. Now we'll make our way up this chain. I ran a little further so that you don't have to waste time turning on the chain. I like doing it at that angle. Alright, here's the block to push down. We're going to push the block down, pull it out one square, and assess our situation. See where Yorda is and if she's getting grabbed that easily or not. Sounds like she already got grabbed. Wow, that was fast. Alright, I'm going to push this block a little bit and make my way up to her right now. No dilly-dally. Yes, I know.
As long as you start to pull her up, she'll grab herself the rest of the way. It's fine if you get hit right here. I want them to grab her, actually. And take her down. Yes. Take her down to the bottom. Go, guys. Go. And while you're doing that, I'm going to finish pushing my block. And then I'll go get her from you, for you. Thanks for doing some of the work for me. Oh, I'm waiting for that cutscene to start. Oh, they're going to hit me. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Mash the triangle so you don't take as long. Okay, we got her. She's getting up. No, she's not. She's not getting up. Come on. Come on, Yorda. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. <laughs> oh. Alright, we got her. That wasn't so bad. That's actually the ex almost the exact same method I use if she does get grabbed while we're here. I pull the cube out once. When they, uh, when they take her up to the top, I go and get her. Although usually they take her to a side pool instead of that top pool. I'll go ahead and show you. You stay right there, Yorda. I think I can leave you alone for a split second. So, um, the stairs have a separate side area to the to the right right there you see and sometimes there's a that's the pond they take her to usually if she gets grabbed while you're inside the dark room making your way up to the top to push the cube out and I, in that situation i do a very similar thing i pull the cube out once i go up and get her i push the cube over while they carry her back down doing my work for me then i pull her out now it's very easy to die there um, because they're just going to keep hitting you it takes a while to get comfortable with it, and I I still, you know, I mean, I've, I've already died to it twice just trying to make this tutorial. <laughs> All right. So that was the first skip. Believe it or not, um, you probably can believe it, that was way faster than having to fight nine different shadows. But if you're really struggling with that, um, kill the first five shadows that appear the when she first... Uh, when you first take her down the stairs, just go ahead and kill those five, and the other ones that appear afterwards won't be nearly as difficult. All right, as we make our way on this uh, ledge, we're trying to we're going to stop right in this area because there's going to be a ladder right above us. One, two, three. Yeah, that's a good spot. There's the ladder. Push up and to the left when you make your jump. Just get up a little bit, and we're going to skip a cutscene when we jump to this chain. All right, here's the second place that, that can kill you, so let me, let me explain this. All right, when we swing from this chain and crawl up here, shadows are going to appear, and there's going to be a shadow pond um, up here in this area, down here, and there's going to be a shadow pond up over here. So if you were not able to successfully um, get her up the staircase and to this bridge without the shadows grabbing her. The one thing you want to absolutely make sure does not happen is that they successfully are carry her up the staircase, cause, uh, up this ladder. Because if they get her up the ladder, there's going to be five or six just standing at the bottom of the ladder and anytime you try and come up it, they're going to hit you. It's game over, basically, if they get her up the ladder. Now, um, what we're hoping to do here is um, we're going to land here, crawl up, and then call Yorda. And the best case scenario is as we're pulling her up, two shadows, which will come out of this shadow pool, will come towards you and fall down. And none of the shadows in this area have wings. You'll pull her up and you'll get out. But she might come really quickly, and then they'll just be sitting there waiting for you. If that happens, just try and run around them. Or try and get as far to the back as possible so that if they do grab her, we can hit her. We can hit them. We'll hit her too, sure. We can hit them and make our way over to the gate. All right. I've already died here once trying to make this tutorial before. Hopefully this time will go better. Um, that's a little high. You don't need to be that high. Whoa, that's a little low. All right. Happy medium, I guess. Now, you don't actually have to swing that much to make it over. Just just one time. Whoop. There's a, almost every chain swing is like that. All right, let's see how this goes.
Take your time, Yorda. Uh, come back. Hurry, hurry. Don't get grabbed. And she got grabbed. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have, uh... Alright. Man, they get squishy. Ugh. Why am I on the chain? <laughs> Alright, we'll just go through this fight, but this is... If, I, if you're going for a PB... <laughs> that's not the way to do it. Most of the time, I should have I should have just not I should have not uncalled her. Nope. No you don't. Get up, get up. Okay, that's fine going to that pool. In fact, we'll let you do that for a little bit. Let me get some hits in here. All right, let's go get her. Mash that triangle or you'll lie down forever after you get hit. All right, come on. Actually, I want to keep her by the ladder because they'll be less likely to carry her up the ladder if she's here. Gosh, this is laborious. These shifting camera angles don't help much, too. Are we done? Okay. That wasn't the worst. I'll take it. But um, almost every run I do, you'll see instead what happens is... Um, we bring her up. I was afraid she was coming up too fast. I shouldn't have. Oh my gosh, are there more shadows? I just heard the noise. All right. Why? Maybe it's just the little ones. See, usually she takes a little bit of time and then those other two shadows that were up here will fall. Don't let go of R1 like I did there. You should be able to make it right up and zap them. That wasted several minutes, but not a run killer. There's a lot of ways to save time later in this run. <sighs> this next section, there's not really a whole lot of comments to make, so I'll just let you enjoy the view. <laughs> Look at those birds. That's a little late. As you make your way to the end of this windmill, don't go over this ledge, don't go over that corner too fast or you'll fall. Wait till, yeah, wait till like there and then make that last little gap. And we're gonna jump from here. Lovely camera s switch there. And now we'll call Yorda. For swag points, you can make a jump right here if you want to. It's a little faster. We're calling Yorda so that after we retract this, retract this bridge, unretract. I should have skipped that cutscene. I was too busy thinking of SAT words. Um, is she right here? Yay! Come on, Yorda. Let's go. This is best. It's the uh, it's the area without shadows. So you get a little break here. Nothing, nothing too uh, terrible can happen. Now, as long as you hold down R one while you climb up this, Yorda will follow you. Will follow after you, and that's actually a lot faster than pulling her up each of these. So I'm gonna go stay all the way at this gate. She's gonna follow up after me. That's perfect. Finally, something's going right, and we've made it to our next section. Now before we go in, I'd just like to comment, this bench right here is way out of the way. That bench, ugh, camera, come on, that bench right there is way out of the way and not worth, um, not worth saving it because of, because of that. However, if you just want to practice this next section, which is worth practicing several times, it's worth making a save point there to be able to practice from there. So. 
now we come to the what I call the sewer. It's really called the room with the light through the trees or something. And in speedruns, what people do is they like to put your to here. Because once you climb up this chain and get to the uh, get to the top right here, two shadows are going to spawn and hover over you. And if she's right down here, they won't see her for a while. And what you'll do is you'll run down um, over this way, fall down a little hole, touch a pressure pad to get that gate to open. And you'll start calling her. You'll come over here and grab her. Or she'll come to you some. You'll pull her through this and then jump back out before the gate closes. That is considered a perfect skip. Then all you have to do is climb up the chain and go get her. But there's only two shadows here. I think that's a whole lot of work. And oftentimes it doesn't work out. I think that's a whole lot of work to, for just to skip just two shadows. So um, what we're going to do instead is we're going to make her live bait. This is for what I call a safer run. I always attempt that other one, but it doesn't always work out. Uh, okay, so we're just going to use her as live bait. As soon as the shadows show up, we're going to crawl right back down the chain a little bit and jump off of it, pull her out of the shadow pond that just appeared next to her feet. Here come the shadows. They waste no time getting to her either. Look at that. That's unfair. Pull her out. Probably get hit. That's okay. Get up. Get up. Where are you going? Oh, there's one over here too? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Where are you guys? Where are you going to spawn from now? Alright, there's just two of them. They'll show up sooner or later. A lot of times they come back up through the top. It's kind of annoying. Why don't you just spawn right here? Oh, you evolved. Look at that. Yeah, I love trapping them in the corner. It's the best. I get rid of those little shadow things too because even though they're no, there's no danger, they um, tend to scare Yorda. Ooh. Come here. Alright, that's it. I think. Oh, are you gonna... Nope, there's a third one this time. Alright. Oh, no, there's not. Okay. The sh shadow pawns were being a little indecisive. You're just still scared, though. Th sometimes that means there's tiny shadows around, and... The music is saying that there's still tiny shadows, so we're going to get rid of those. Yep. All right. Now Yorda's behaving. She's going to come towards this gate some. And we're still going to do... Okay, so there's two ways to do this. One is to pull her through, uh, pushing on that pressure plate to open the gate, and bringing her through, and then you push on this pressure plate to... Run over here. This is the way it's intended to be done. To run over here and open this gate. You then go out the gate, um, climb up a pole, jump across a ravine, and come back and pull her up through this uh, through this sky area right up here. And um, But what we're going to do is the same strategy that's used by the speedrunners to skip the entire fight which is we're going to stand on this pressure plate for a split second, jump off of it, and start calling her. Oh, come on. Pull her through, and then run back. All right. And now we can go get her. And she'll be much closer than if we'd gone the other way because she follows you all the way through that water and it takes her forever to get back to the hole. All right, come on, Yorda. That could have been, uh, the fights could have been a little smoother. I didn't expect her to get taken to the other pond, the other shadow pond. That was kind of funny. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, not the worst. If you want to work on the skip, you can try. I've got a, I'll have a video posted below of that skip also being done successfully. I really, there's so many things that can go wrong, though. 
even when you do the skip correctly, sometimes Yorda just doesn't want to make her way over to the hole. So, um, I think the way I just did is just fine there, especially if you have a good graveyard and a good dark room. Or a decent graveyard and a good dark room. I'll also post a video for the good dark room. Alright. We now reach some, some more like platforming stuff. Not a whole lot going on here. This hasn't been an ideal journey through this section. I've yet to have one where I do a perfect graveyard skip and get the perfect sewer skip. In fact, the world record run is the only video I've seen that does both of them. And it's... <laughs> that was weird. It's, um, it's crazy. Okay, here's something weird. Sometimes if you're standing right here, this <laughs> this won't let you grab that ledge. So I almost always just grab the ledge here as opposed to wasting my time trying to jump up and get it. Oops, maybe I went over a little too far. That's okay. And as for these ledges, um, I think it's a little bit faster to do them hanging as opposed to um, standing on them and scaling them. So that's why I do it that way. All right, here comes another shadow fight. Uh, let's see if I can handle this. There's going to be a shadow pond appearing right here. And what we're going to do is move the block so that we can kind of trap the shadows. Sometimes it works and we're able to do the fight really easily. Two shadows will come out almost at once and then a third shadow. And uh, sometimes it goes horribly awry. We'll see what happens this time. Oh, that one got out of the way. Okay, that's okay. The big one's still stuck. Come on. Ooh! Another good reason to keep this cube here is they like to run up to the... Oh, no! <laughs> Why? <laughs> this has never happened before. Am I gonna die? Oh, whew. All right, we will just keep her here in this corner and wait for them to come to her now. This is uh, probably the worst fight I've ever had this way. <laughs> Usually I'm able to kill them without them carrying her up here. At least we didn't die. Man. Come on, Shadows, where are you? There you are. All right, one more. Maybe one more. Usually one more. Should we go ahead and head back down? I don't know. I can just leave her up here now, honestly. Once this last... Where is he? There he is. Alright. Fun fact. If you uh, if a shadow gets trapped against the wall, don't move towards him. Just, just uh, swing while standing in place, and you'll keep him continually chain-stunned. All right, Yorda, you can stay up here if you want to. You don't have to follow me. Or you can. Whatever. <laughs> Worst tutorial ever. Please look at the videos below for how each of these skips works well. But also expect to never get all of the skips. Um, actually, just look at the world record run through this section and watch your jaw drop as he gets crazy good RNG and does a great job at the same time. All right, excuse me, Yorda. Didn't need to push it that far. That's okay. Yorda will climb up here by herself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is kind of fun. It looks like you need to get all you need to be standing on this ledge, but nope, you can scale it with your feet. Drop down. And as soon as we jump on here, there's going to be a cinematic. It's some more shadows. But these shadows, 
for what, whatever reason, are the only ones that never actually try to get Yorda. They're just going to mess with you. All right, now, after all that stress, let's do something fun. So you see this chain right here? Normally what you're supposed to do is uh, climb up here, slowly walk while holding interact so you don't see, and uh, climb down that chain, go down to, there's a window down below which you'll, uh, you drop down the chain and, and then swing through that window. We're going to do a cool swag trick. So, coming up here, let's stand right on this corner. And you see there's a place where the sunlight, it's right next to my cursor actually, there's a place where the sunlight hits that brick. And if that's in like this kind of area right here, then what you can do is jump while hitting the left D-pad. And here's what happens. Then you just push down once, press jump to get off of it, and boom, you've saved yourself a ton of time. All right, come here, shadows. I want to try and get them to squish. Oh, that one's being tough. All right, I'm going to stun him a little bit because I don't want them to hit me while I'm climbing up here. All right, we made it. Yay, the successful shadow skip. <laughs> it's my first one of this tutorial. Um, you could just try and make a beeline towards the ledge, but they almost always will hit you while you're hanging there, and then you have to you have to fight them, or at least stun them before you make your way up. So I just like to charge right at them. Usually they'll squish into the ground, and then um, I just, uh, uh, yeah, make it to the ledge like I did that time. So at least one thing happened, ideally. You know, in the world record run, he got hit on the ledge. Yeah, what a noob. That's one thing I did well that he didn't. <laughs> Out of the bajillion, he did well. All right. We're making it to the um, the last little trick of this nightmare segment. And this trick isn't so bad. But you can still mess it up. All right. Let's jump up these stairs. Make our way to the next room. Now we are coming back to where Yorda, to where we left Yorda. Come on. You know how to ladder, bro. And as we went across, this time we're going to resist the temptation to use the call button to run faster because we actually don't... Yorda, where are you? Oh, there she is. We actually don't want Yorda to be following us. We want her to um, be on that, uh, on this little ledge area. So just to make sure, I'm going to stand right here, give her a call, make sure she's made her way over to that ledge. See, she's already there because I wasn't calling her earlier. Now I'm going to uh, pull this thing. She's going to go across and it's also going to generate another shadow pond. So we're going to have to get down this chain quickly. And the way we'll do that, we'll take two steps towards the chain and jump. And then jump off the chain. Watch. Oh, wow. That's a weird angle. Wow, i never seen her run to that corner like that. This is hard. All right, easiest, easiest skip here. And just make it over to the bridge. Yay, we're done with the nightmare segment. No deaths. I have no idea how that would have been in real time. I think I said that the, we want the segment to be about an average of 17 minutes. But even if it goes to 20 or 21 minutes, there's going to be pl all of these other estimates for the other segments are very generous. There's going to be plenty of time to shave off time if you're really trying to get a sub 145 in-game time. So this can go horribly wrong. It can be 21, even 22 minutes. And the rest of the run can go well, and you could still have a really decent time. I have yet to get through this whole area smoothly. And um, I have one time that's around the hour 41 minute and one time that's almost exactly an hour and 40 minutes in game time. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer through this tutorial. Again, check the links below. If you found this helpful and you're watching on YouTube, please leave a like and a comment. Thank you very much. Have a good night or morning, whatever time you're watching this video.